Hi everyone, Tom here from TomWalker.Codes. I've had a number of people ask me this question is, how do I get Xamarin Studio set up to take advantage of my Visual Studio Online account uh, with uh, the Git? And so what I've done is I've just kind of written an article, a blog article on that subject. Uh, so I've got that up on my screen right here. But what I'll do in the video is we'll walk through some of those steps and hopefully that will help out some of you uh, folks trying to get this set up. So let's get cracking. So the first thing is you're going to have to set up a Visual Studio Online account. Uh, if you already have that, great. Uh, so what I've done here is I've logged into my account already. And the action I've done next is basically create a new project. So it'll go in and basically we can kind of see that screen quickly here. So the important thing is name the project. Uh, description is optional. Uh, I've kept it at Agile. And then the version control is we're going to set that to get. So I've already kind of done that. So let's just kind of navigate into this folder to kind of take a look at that. Uh, the couple things I want to kind of point out here is up here we've got this code uh, menu option here. So let's just click on that. And the important thing is we're going to use this later on. So you probably want to copy this for your own reference for later on. We'll be getting back to that. But uh, so copy that. Uh, and then uh, the next up here is basically we're going to go into your profile. So in my case, my profile. So basically what I'm looking for is to get into the security. So what I'm what I, what I want the action I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to set up the alternate authentication credentials to allow Xamarin Studios to connect to, to VSO. So I've already kind of done this work here already. So I've created a uh, a secondary username and then assigned the password. I found uh, while kind of doing this this video that uh, Xamarin didn't like me using the email address as part of that URL that you saw previously. So in, the, in this case, what I've done is I've just actually created an alternate uh, username there and again, signed the password. So that, once all that's done, great. So the next thing is to kind of pop over into Xamarin. So we're gonna do that right now. So what I've got on the screen right now is I've just got a standard Xamarin.forms blank app, the kind of a starter template app here. So we're going to use this as kind of the, our test app to kind of hook up to our version control or VSO in this case. So what I've done is I've kind of prepped this up already. So I've already put in the information uh, that I've specified. So let's just go into that. So basically that's um, the, what I should point out before I get too far ahead is I basically had to basically activate this option here, this publish option. And I had to kind of do that to kind of just change the focus back onto the solution uh, file there to kind of activate that that publishing uh, option there. But once that's done, you can kind of go into the, the publishing. Like I said, I've already kind of created this this uh, setting there for my into my uh, VSO here. So let's go into that and see what's all the settings are there. So basically, I gave it a name, and that's again that's the URL I, I mentioned before. Um, the important thing is to make sure the type is set to Git. Uh, the protocol is HTTPS. Uh, the server uh, basically comes out of that URL that you paste there. The important bit here is port 443. Uh, and then the path to the Git repo on your VSO. And then this is where I would enter in a secondary username it would go there. So if once that's okay, we select that. I go okay. And it asks, are you sure you want to publish this? Yes. Because this is where it's going to ask me for my password. It does this once. So right now what it's doing is it's pushing up both source code into uh, my VSO account there that I've set up, the, the project. I want to select that finish. Um, I will point out a couple things here. Uh, the, the first is if you encounter any problems with, like if you, you enter your password wrong, you can basically go into that version control and remove that option. Um, the other uh, thing you can do is uh, there's a uh, app called Keychains inside Apple. Uh, so basically that is the main repository for keeping all the passwords uh, amongst all the applications. So if you go into that, you can find the the, basically the, the password and username credentials in there and remove from there without having to basically remove that. So if you've got all the information correct, but you just mistyped the password, that's an option you can do. So, okay, so we've got the publish operation completed. So let's just kind of confirm that by going inside VSO. So I'm gonna go back to the homepage. I'm gonna select the project. 
And then we'll go into the code section to kind of verify that, yes, we have some code. And we do. So great. So now I've got my Xamarin Studios on the Mac hooked up to VSO. So hopefully that was a help to everyone. As always, happy coding.